Excitement over Cambridge and Northampton. Luton's success in overcoming Ipswich tended to get overlooked last night, but on a tremendous night at Kenilworth Road, the Hatters produced what was probably the most exciting match of the round. Luton and Ipswich fans went through the entire gamut of emotions at Kenilworth Road. Joy for the visitors when David Johnson scored what seemed an invaluable away goal. Town 3-1 up on aggregate, but despair turned to delight for the Hatters in the second half. Andrew Fotiadis, brought in specially to add firepower up front, did precisely the job his manager had picked him for. Then came the pivotal moment of the match. Stuart Douglas, with his third goal of the season, thanks to a rather fortunate deflection, made the Ipswich half sink. 2-1 on the night, three each overall. And the Ipswich gloom deepened in the first half of extra time with a header from Luton defender Steve Davis, which would have made any striker proud. But if the fans experienced highs and lows, so indeed did Davis. Just two minutes remaining when he headed into his own net. 4-4, but with the extra away goal, Ipswich's progress looked assured. It was anything but. The final whistle was about to blow when Richard Wright's mistake led in Marvin Johnson for a rare but precious goal. Luton, 5-4 aggregate winners. Johnson, the unlikely hero, with the opening goal scorer, Fotiadis. I, I looked at Andrew running for that first goal to the corner. I thought he, he had a knock. He had a dead leg and he had another knock on it. And I thought he's never going to get there. And then when he got, I don't know, don't ask me how he got the ball in the net. I've got no idea how he did that. I was shaking my head in disbelief instead of jumping up and down celebrating. But credit to him, he's done it. And uh, that got us back in it, really. Elsewhere, 